In Chapter 11, the author discusses about the laws, regulations, and capabilities of regarding the information technology systems implemented within healthcare organizations. Many of these dealt with the security surrounding HIT due to protected health information being a priority to ensure confidentiality and prevent unauthorized access. One of these laws was the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act of 2009, which was part of the stimulus package, and this pretty much accelerated EHR adoption. But what I am going to fo be focusing on is how the High Tech Act expanded the privacy and security rules of HIPAA to directly apply to business associates and add some additional notification requirements. First of all, what were some of the privacy and security protections implemented with the High Tech Act? Generally, the High Tech Act increased HIPAA stringency over healthcare organizations for protecting the privacy and security of health information. The first item to point out that has changed since the passage of the Act was more stringent enforcement for violating HIPAA. The Act clearly ensures enforcement will be passed for willful neglect instead of implying it. Also, civil penalties are increased. In addition, the Department of Health and Human Services started to do periodic audits of covered entities and business associates. This illustrates how enforcement has increased with the Act. So, like along the same lines, before HIPAA only affected covered entities, such as healthcare organization, but now business associates need to comply with HIPAA also. These include software vendors and other third parties that conduct business agreements with the organization. In addition to enforcement, there are now data breach notification requirements for unsecured PHI. If a breach affects more than 500 patients, HSS and sometimes local media will need to be notified. And also, Patients now have the right to obtain their EEPHI and authorize having a third party to access it. What is the impact of this law? First of all, let's look at the positives. There's an improvement of patient safety because of the increase in data security. The organization has to regulate compliance by training and providing ongoing awareness about the new procedures. In particular, the organization would utilize IT de departments to ensure compliance with the high-tech security and privacy provisions. The High-Tech Act directed HHS to issue new guidelines annually around the most effective and appropriate technical safeguards, which organizations now have to comply with. In addition, the High-Tech Act increased the amount of health information that should be considered protected. It also has made organizations need to utilize the minimum necessary information when doing work due to healthcare institutions using outdated methods to secure access to protected health information. Many administrators are now implementing higher level of security to ensure safety. Smart cards have become adapted because of the accessibility and ease of use. It allows doctors to have access to rooms and prevent others from getting into there. Because of all of the increase to security, data breaches declined 32% in 2009 compared to 2008. What are the criticisms of the High Tech Act? So one of the criticisms is that it incentivized providers to do something like they should have been doing anyway, which is using technology to manage their patients' records. But like this includes outdated technology, so it is sort of abusing the High Tech Act. In addition, maintaining compliance with regulatory controls requires continuous monitoring of published guidelines, which takes time and resources out of the healthcare organization. 